G thing. Brought to you by the following participating advertiser. The 64,000 people who are looking to raise the standard of healthcare. Northwell Health. Look north. Life was good for the Clappy family, and then things took a dramatic turn. John and him, my older son, were playing, and all of a sudden the panic in my son John's voice, he just started to scream for me. And I ran into my bedroom, and Lewis was having his first seizure on my bed. Joanne's son Lewis, who had just fully recovered from the flu, was rushed to Cohen's Children's Medical Center, where he continued to have multiple seizures. In an effort to relax the brain, he was sedated for two weeks. It just felt helpless. I just kept praying, put me in that bed, put me there. Don't do this to my child. Lewis, who was just 12 years old, was put on four medications to control his seizures. Life as he knew it, Boy Scouts, swimming, hanging out with friends changed. Now he's always got mom with him. She watches over me 24 7. Kind of annoying, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What did you see the first time you saw Lewis? Yeah, I saw a young man who really wasn't living his life the way he wanted to live it. He was on multiple medications with lots of side effects. Dr. Sean Rogers, who's been treating Lewis for two years, is now leading groundbreaking surgery, which uses Rosa the robot, and Lewis was his first patient. The robot guides us into a really precise location, get it very, very accurate to place our electrodes into the brain in order to really capture the seizures exactly where they're coming from. Prior to Rosa, Neurosurgeons would have to remove part of the skull to place the electrodes in the brain, which could take eight hours. The less invasive surgery reduced that to two hours. Now the electrodes are collecting data on Lewis. Cohen's team of doctors are analyzing what's next. They'll zone in on the frontal lobe in which they suspect the seizures are coming from and excise that area. We will remove that part of the frontal lobe. Luckily, that part of the frontal lobe in him uh, does not subserve any important functions. So he will have no motor deficits, no speech deficits, or no memory deficits. We're trying to really dramatically impact his life by taking away a lot of his seizures. If you had the energy now, what would you like to do? Go out to the park with my friends. And that's coming, you know that, right? Yeah.